The Grim Reaper has influenced numerous stories from books of the scythe I had to read for school, which was really boring, and multiple different comic book stories and characters. The Black Flash is one of those. He was created to be the Grim Reaper of the Speed Force, first appearing in The Flash issue 138 in 1998. He's the embodiment of death itself, which, um, like I said in a previous video, that is said a lot because there was another character I forget the name of, I forget who it was too, but I was talking about them, and they were also referred to the embodiment of death itself. Anyways, we're told that he has encountered Max Mercury before, who has encountered this creature but was luckily able to get away from it. Long retcons telling us that Johnny Quick and Barry Allen had both seen the Black Flash before dying, which also would later be retconned. That never happened. Black Flash would go after Wally West during his time as the Flash, only to lose after Linda Park, Jake Garrick, and Jesse Quick would aid Wally in his fight. It would show again post-Final Crisis where it went after Bar Allen, a.k.a. Impulse, but yet again lost. Black, Fa Black, Flash. Black Flash isn't good at his job, despite how cool he looks. We also get confirmation that Black Flash is somehow connected to Black Racer, but we're never given more about that. In 2009, Flash Rebirth, not Flash Rebirth and Rebirth, but Flash Rebirth from 2009, as in the Barry Allen one, not the Wally West one. <laughs> Got all that? Okay. Black Flash would appear again, and he would be fired from his job in more ways than one, as in he dies. <laughs> this is because Barry Allen becomes the new Black Flash, where he kills both Savitar and Lady Flash, before ridding himself of the Black Flash infection from his body. In this story, it's kind of treated like a zombie-type virus, but not the type of virus that is contagious, but more of a situation where you can catch it if the person wants you to catch it. Does that make sense? I, I think it makes sense to me, but I could be wrong. Black Flash then only appears afterwards in actual Rebirth, after his death in other Rebirth. Okay, <laughs> let me explain. Okay, the 2009 Flash Rebirth one was because Barry Allen had returned. The Rebirth I'm going to talk about is the Rebirth when the New 52 was not well received and they rebooted again into Rebirth. That's where Black Flash comes back. Got all that? Got all that? He appears in Flash Rebirth, this time in Rebirth, where he's trying to kill different forces. This time he actually accomplishes something and kills Syche. Syke. Sick. How are we pronounce that? Black Flash would also be present in Smallville tie comics where he kills Impulse. It also appears in the Elverse, appearing in both Legend of Tomorrow and The Flash, only to be killed by Killer Frost. Black Flash, despite a great design, he does absolutely nothing. I think it's honestly a waste of both design and concept. But the thing is, Black Flash can't kill the hero. Yes, I know the retcon where he killed Barry does exist, but he was dead for over a decade at the time, so he wasn't the hero, and he got retconned again when Barry was the hero. And his retcon involved Black Flash dying. I hope he does come back in a better capacity. I understand that he can't kill any of the main characters. But there's still ways to work around that. I don't know what it is. But while when other villains fail to kill who they're going against, it still makes sense that they feel like a threat. Instead, Black Flash comes across less an inconvenience. It could be because I think, well, characters like Joker usually only go, uh, only ever go against Batman... Black Flash is going after everybody and is always losing. He goes after Wally, loses, go after Barry, loses, goes after Barry, loses, go after Max Mercury, loses, go after Jesse Chambers, loses. Like, he's constantly losing against everybody. It's not just one person he's losing against. It's every single speedster. No wonder he got fired. He doesn't ever do his job right. That's my personal opinion. Maybe I'm going a little too hard on Black Flash. But he really doesn't ever do his job. He, the only character he's ever killed is Psyche. And he's not a speedster. So I don't understand why any speedster would be afraid of him when he has never killed an actual speedster. Well, yes, Barry as Black Flash did kill Lady Flash and Savitar. That wasn't him. That was Barry. So Black Flash, in his time of being known as this Great Grim Reaper of the Speed Force has only ever killed one person and they weren't even a speedster. But that's my opinion on Black Flash. What's yours? Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!